In this lecture, we will discuss different programming paradigms, specifically object-oriented paradigm and its features. A paradigm is simply pattern or model for something. There are two main paradigms in programming languages, imperative and declarative. In imperative paradigm, the program describes processing necessary to, necessary to solve a problem. Sub-paradigms of imperative paradigm are procedural and object-oriented paradigm. In procedural paradigm, program is composed of procedures or sub-programs. Popular procedural languages are Fortran, BASIC, C, and Pascal. In object-oriented paradigm, data objects mimic the properties and behaviors of real-world objects. Simula and Smalltalk were first object-oriented programming languages. Java is modern object-oriented programming with some procedural features and C++ is procedural language with some object-oriented features. In declarative paradigm, result of the program is described, not the steps used to solve the problem. Sub-paradigms of declar declarative paradigm are functional and logic paradigm. Functional paradigm is based on mathematical concept of function whereas logic paradigm is based on the principles of symbolic logic. It comprises a set of facts about objects and a set of rules about relationship among the objects. Object-oriented paradigm simulates real-world objects that have behavior and properties and can interact with one another. In computer, behavior is implemented as methods, whereas properties of objects are implemented as fields. Objects with similar properties are grouped into a class. Different behavior of objects and interaction in real world is implemented by the following concept by, by following the concept of a class. Class construct provides following four features of object-oriented programming: abstraction, encapsulation, inheritance, and polymorphism. A class in object-oriented programming is a description of group of objects with similar properties and behaviors. In other words, class will provide a blueprint to create objects or it is a pattern for creating objects. An object can be considered an entity or thing that is relevant in the context of a problem. Fields are named properties of a class and methods define one aspect of the behavior of the class. Examples of class can be animal, person, and a student. Abstraction is hiding internal implementation details of a program or removing complex details to simplify the view. In Java, abstraction can be achieved with abstract classes and interfaces. Complexities of program can also be removed with information hiding or encapsulation. Goal of abstraction is to facilitate communication among users and machine. Encapsulation is bundling of data and actions of objects so that logical properties of data and actions are separated from the implementation details. In other words, it is the object-oriented feature that provides information hiding. Purpose of en encapsulation is to make data safe from any external modification. In Java, encapsulation is achieved by declaring variables as private and to safely access and change values of the variables, setter and getter, met setter and getter methods are used. In the code to the right, class employee has a private variable name whenever an object of this class is created. We have get and set name methods to get the name and set the name of the employee. Encapsulation plays a crucial role to hide sensitive details of a program by controlling and making fields and methods read-only. Inheritance is a mechanism by which one class acquires the properties, data fields and methods of another class. Child or derivative class acquires the properties of parent or superclass. Relationship between child and parent class is an is a relationship. For example, horse is a mammal. Here, mammal is an is a superclass. Horse is a derivative class. The biggest advantage of inheritance is the reuse of code. 
which is also achieved with polymorphism discussed next. Polymorphism in programming language is the ability of a language to determine at runtime which of several possible methods will be executed for a given invocation or call. Like in real world, one word can have different meaning in different contexts. Polymorphism works the same way. For example, word right mean direction opposite to left and it can also mean correct. There are two ways polymo polymorphism is implemented, method overloading and method overriding. In method overloading, methods have same name but different parameters and they are differentiated from one another when program is compiled. Method overriding happens at runtime. A method is method declared in parent class is given a specific implementation in child class. For example, speak method in animal class will have different implementation in child class because different animals make different sounds. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to watch more and learn more.